Oh, no, it's not. Hmm? What? It really has a paper straws now. Like, this sucks. I hate anywhere that uses paper straws. No, there's two things my dad and my grandpa always told me to never be cheap on. Your shoes, your bed, and your liquor. You sleep a third of your life away. If you work, you're going to be on a pee about 12 hours of your day. And if you're going to be hungover, you might as well really enjoy that liquor. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Jeff is like, brainstorm, what else are we going to talk about today? Emergency turd being released. Please hold emergency wrong, so send it again, emergency turd. <laughs> so once again, we are unprepared, guys. <laughs> What's popping? I farted in your chair, but I sprayed for breeze on it. So. I can smell both at the same time. <laughs> I'm cold. I'm gonna put pants on. Nobody watch. <laughs> I can't see you when the mic's like that. I can't see you still. I won't be able to see your face. Is it not a blessing? <sighs> no, it's a curse. <laughs> <laughs> you got an impert. I hate that it does this, man. <laughs> it's the worst thing ever. <laughs> and I'm gonna miss you like a child misses the blanket. But I'm trying to get a move on with my life. Oh, dude, I don't listen at all. <laughs> it's <I know>. personal. <laughs> myself uh -huh. in it. And it's got nothing to do with you. <laughs> Cameron knows better than me. <laughs> I know as a young kid, as a young kid, that song made me super emotional for no reason. <laughs> cool. And it's got nothing to do with you. <laughs> Play a game or something like that. I have an emergency turn. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, I like how quickly like you're talking, but I gotta go still, dude. Like, <laughs> I'm waiting for Cameron to spit bar. Uh, me too. Me <laughs> too. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I hate wait, this. Cameron. I hate you guys so much. <laughs> <laughs> you're just saying, uh, sir, dude, don't do it, sir. Damn it, my hands. <sighs> Start over. <sighs> don't do it, uh, sir. Dude. Uh, so. Delicioso. Dios mio. Alright. So do you need the prompter? Do you want the prompter? Give the prompter. Give the prompter. <laughs> he, he needs a turn. Let's go. Uh, Let's go the prompter. Let's go. We got this. Alright. Don't do us all, dudes. We are the Island Guardian TCG here. Welcome to the 14th best place to find Pokemon content and Pokemon content in general. I'm Cameron. This is Jeff. And this is Miguel. Are we starting? What's up? Oh, what's up? <laughs> oh, I was reading it um, also. <laughs> that's fine. We made it there. I we got it. We, I, we made I it. I think I killed that one. We made it. Here we go. <laughs> right, I just want to give a quick shout out to the last people that all, that actually followed my directions. Uh, Miles, thanks for the emojis. Miguel, Alec, Tracy, <clears throat> thanks for actually coming. Emojis like I wanted. So for... This next one, put in some fire emojis because we got the spice coming. So I appreciate you guys actually putting comments down there. There's 70 views, and we got four of you with emojis. So hey, let's try to get five people on the next one. If you do, Cam's getting a tattoo. I guess I will. Bet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to start off with our, our locals. Yes, local, local recap. Who's going first? Oh. I'll go first because it was my birthday. Birthday, birthday, Cameron. How old are you? I am 24 now. 24, dude. 24 years young. Yeah. I guess, yeah. I made it through the golden year, Jeff. It wasn't very golden, but I made it. Well, technically, your golden year is when you were 10. But... Double digits, bro. Well, no, your golden year is the day that you were born. The number of the day you were born. So, so mine was, was when I was one. So I don't remember any of it. 
But anyway, <coughs> you were so, playing Lost Tina. Yeah, so I showed up. I was like, I don't even know if I want to play because all I want to play is Lugia. And I so I shot Miles a text because we've been we were shot texting through it. We, we were texting throughout the day. It's always not there. Though, yeah, and I was I was like, dude, what should I play? And he goes, uh, he's like, what about Tina? And then literally three texts in a row, he goes, what about Tina? What about Palkia? What about? And then he said, what about Gudra? And I'm like, bro, those are the three decks in the box. Yeah. And he goes, just play Tina. And I'm like, okay. And I was like, send me a Tina list. And he goes, okay. And then he sent me this list. Um, I think he said it was from Nicholas Moffat, and then he modified one card. What's the change? Do you remember? Um, it was Mirage Gate for uh, Lost Vacuum. Okay, so it was four. Yeah, gate. it okay. was four gate, but he changed it to one, three gate, one vacuum. Cool. Yeah, I don't see anything that's like. And nothing's crazy. Yeah, out nothing's of, a little extraordinary at all. Um, it's it's a pretty pretty straightforward list. Um, if you're a new player, this is how I'd recommend playing it, for <clears> sure. <throat> Um, because if you look at other, like, high-level player lists, they're, like, some people aren't playing Lost Vacuum because they've already mapped and, and thought around it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I like this one because it gives me the option to just go straight through it. Um, it's also got your Luminion to make sure you can Culver's turn one if you yeah, get a second. Yeah, I, really, I really like that. I feel like any Lost Box deck kind of has to have it. Um. For the bat. My matchups, mm-hmm. um... I forgot to ask if they wanted to be in the podcast. Um, it's your birthday, bro. <laughs> Just do it. Just do right. it. So, so round one was against Lauren. Yeah, I did. Uh, she was on Ice Rider and Teleon okay. um, with the double penguins. Ooh, this is Romeo's wife? Yes. Correct. Okay. Um, so it was... I went first and did, did the things... <coughs> um, I think I had three cards in Lost Zone at the beginning, so I was pretty set up. Like I think I had a full bench. I think I hit two VIB passes. So a lot like of I would. I... Right there. What? <laughs> There's a lot of I thinks. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like some notes. I think it popped up. I think I won. <laughs> um, no, it was it was kind of just I I went first and got to win the race. That's how Pokemon feels right now. Yeah. Um, also, when when you're playing Giratina and going against three prize decks, it's a little bit easier. Yeah, because yeah. you can um, almost guarantee yeah. you're, you're free knockout. Unfortunately, I think like third turn of the game, I made a misplay, and I was gonna go for the Sableye play to sprinkle the Ice Rider that I hit with Lost Impact hmm. and a Sobble and just take four prizes and win the game. Okay. But I uh, misplayed, and I had a Rengar on the bench and Ordinary Rod in my hand, and I went to Mirage Gate, <laughs> and with uh, the Psychic Energy, even yeah. though I had two ways to make sure I could get Psychic Energy, because yeah. I had one in my hand. Tough. Um, so that was a little little goofy on my part, but yep. then we... Um, she Melanie to the Ice Rider on the bench and whiffed the energy, so she whiffed another whole other turn mm-hmm. of attacks, so I just kind of got the upper hand there. So that from there you could just attach and do it. Mm-hmm. Um, then round two was against Romeo. Yeah. Which was funny Taking because... Taking down the couple. Yeah. Couple beat down, all right. Because then round two, what was funny was I was against Romeo and Megan was against Lauren next to oh, us. Nice. So it was like couple versus couple, couple which was kind of funny. <laughs> um, Romeo's still on that Vaporeon Urshi. Yep. Which is wild to me, but he's got it blinged out. It's looking nice. Yeah, he does. Um, it was a really, really close match. Um, I went in with a lot of confidence because he went first, and the first game action he made was Quick Ball Passimian, and I'm like, oh, I'm chilling. Mm. <laughs> he got rid of that Passimian early. Yeah. Um, and then all his turn was was Quick Ball for uh, Rimmeraid with uh, Sobble inactive, and I started with Comfy inactive, and he just passed. And I'm like, okay. Here we go. Time to spit. Time to ball. My turn was battle VIP pass. I had a capture, two nets, um, and then an escape rope. And so I just flower selected. Mm. I don't remember what I got. Um, battle VIP pass for the comfy and the Greninja. And then scoop up yeah. net, flower select, hit the Colrus. Nice. And then I Colrus for the other two cards in the Lost Zone. And then I escape roped him to take out that Remoraid. Yes, sir. And spit on his Remoraid, which yep. he was like, ooh. He's like, I was really hoping you didn't do that. Because he's like, 
Yep. He's like, most people go after the Drizzile line, but I'm like, no, you, your whole deck says Rapid Strike. I'm not letting you tutor for any card every turn. <laughs> That's what I was talking about last time. <laughs> like, I'm knocking out those fishes. And so that kind of took some momentum out of him. But the the next turn, he um, set up the Vaporeon attached and did the Drizzile things. And just like, mm-hmm. he, got a, he got a really good setup because he kept calling for the turn. Yeah, at least and he so got he, a he set to up it. everything. Um, and then I just spit on his drizzle, so I took another knockout. Um, then, then he went up with Vaporeon V Max, yeah. and which I never thought about the 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 correlation. Um, he just bubble potted yeah. for that yeah. Octillery back, yeah. and I'm like, oh, I thought I took the wind out of his sail, but mm-hmm. it was still. Um, then. I lost impact of the Vaporeon because I couldn't get... I was at nine cards in Lost Zone. I was one card away from just... Mm, yeah. <laughs> nice. I was like, no! Um, so then he... He re, he set up the Urshi. He Melanie attached Rapid Strike, retreated, and took out my Orangaroo and my Cramorant. Nice. And I'm like, okay, that's kind of a, that's kind of not cool, but yeah. <laughs> not cash money if you roll me um, up. Not cash money. <laughs> I and then I just put up the um, comfy <clears throat> and flower selected, retreated, knockout Urshi with the V star power. Yeah. And then I just had Sableye in hand for the next turn. For the and other just three Sableye, Sableye the sprinkle. Sprinkle out. Nice. So it was a pretty fun match. Um, then the next round, I got to watch Josh play. Mm-hmm. Um, we love those. Literally, the whole he's like he's like he's like one of us isn't playing. He sat down. He like we were, he was excited. But he's like we get to we get to rematch. He's like you've <laughs> always won against me. We've played once. <laughs> and he, still won, still and he's like let's keep it going. And I'm like okay, we'll we'll play a match. And then I started. I don't remember what I started. I just remember not having fun. And. <laughs> And literally, he double VAP passed. He was playing Polka uh, Kiram. So he exploded out the gates going first. And I'm like, well, this is going to be fun. <laughs> and then he just, he literally just bop, 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 bop. And I just never got to set up the whole game. Um, it happens, bud. Right. Yep. We, li- we live and die by the loss zone. Yep. That's um, facts. I hate the loss zone. And then <laughs> round four, what? Oh, that was a loss. Yeah. I didn't say it, but it was it was a yeah. loss. Two and one. I figured the seven bops. <laughs> it was a bop, bop, bop. It should stop at six, but it's okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then round four was against Johnny K on his Duraludon. RC Duraludon? Ar- 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 back on Ar- it Ar- again. Duraludon, yeah. Was he playing Cold Reset? Yes. Okay. I'm just curious. Um, it was a pretty close match. Um, I went second. Um, Sketchy. I lost every coin uh, flip that night. Fine. A- every single coin flip I lost. But Lauren let me go first, which was I thought was weird. Um, she's still learning. She doesn't play as much as Romeo does. So. Right. Um, and so he started Duraud on an active. I'm like, ooh, that's rough. Mm-hmm. Um, and I went second, so I got to spit on this Duraud on. Yep. Um, <laughs> Um, Only and then, 90. Only for because un- the hard code. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, <coughs> he had the ultra ball and the double turbo to just pop off yeah. on us Arceus on the bench. So and, what happens, dude? And Every- then the Trinity Nova to his Duraludon. Well, he was able to switch yeah, it. He, yeah, yeah. He, he had everything he needed. So I'm like, oh, this could be bad. But it was it was a pretty back and forth match. Um the only saving grace was that he had priced t- two of his Duraldons, I think. Ooh. And so, like, he like he didn't get it off the prizes, so it was kind of like, for a while, he just had the Duraldon on, on the bench with the big parasol. Um, and so, what felt bad was the Duraldon VMAX that I had hit for damage already. I could have lost impact for knockout, but I was, like, running really low on energy because I prized four energy. Yeah. And so I was like, I'm just gonna V Star Power and finish this one off because I, I have to. I was like, I can't I can't keep using all these energies. Mm-hmm. Um and then like we had both like been counting my energies and he's like we we were both like, I don't think I can attack again and I took those three prizes and I was like, energy <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Um and then he 
the whole game was filled with misplays. I just can't keep track of all of them. But he had bossed at my bench Tina with damage on it to take a knockout instead of bossing my Luminion. For the guaranteed. For the guaranteed two mm-hmm. turns in a row, which goes back to all of our times of saying mapping is so important. You got to yeah. think about the order that you're taking the prizes, not just take whatever prizes are available. Yeah. yeah. Um, we talk about that a lot. Um, so it's just. I misplayed, he misplayed, I misplayed, I misplayed, he misplayed. Like, yeah. <laughs> like it was just... So it was a game of who misplayed the least. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, I, I, definitely, I definitely was sleepy, and I was just having a good old time on my birthday. Um, but I ended up squeaking out that win. Squeak. So that was, that was pretty fun. Three and one. Nice. Not nice. bad for a birthday day. Giratina was <clears throat> pretty fun. I, I had not played it since I needed to help Alex test for Peoria. That was the I built the deck and played it that weekend, like that that week up to, and I had not I have not played it since, so that was fun to just play a deck that I haven't played for a while. Yeah, it seems to be pretty good. Um, it's just lost on stuff, right? If you don't yeah. keep, if you don't keep track of it well, or if you just get some bad. Yeah, that was my problem. Was I didn't know the list going into it well enough. So, like, I'm like, I think I have this in there. (laughs) I think I have that in there. Yeah, I hate when I play a deck that's like that, but... Yeah, against against Romeo, my first turn, I used three of my scoop-ups and both escape ropes, like, in one turn. Just popped off. I was just super aggressive with it all because I didn't know the counts. I was like, the card's highlighted, so we just go. Speaking of fun decks. Speaking of fun decks, over over to Migo over here. We have a spicy Turbo Future Strike Mill. Turbo skill. Dude. Oh, turbo skill? skill That's what we're calling it? Let's go, dude. <laughs> so the line, if you don't know, plays Artisity, which is called Risk Taker, the attack you use. For two double colors or double turbo or twin, flip a coin if heads, your opponent mills five. If tails, you mill five. <laughs> high risk, high reward. High risk, high reward. But you play Gloomwood Tangle, so that kind of comes out with the numbers. Or like coin flips. Yeah, you get to reflip, yeah. Um, so the original list originally had, uh, four Rotom Phones, opposed to four Christian Hammers. Mm-hmm. I didn't have Rotom Phones, so I just put four Hammers, because I like There you it. go. Um, it played four Lure Modules, um, just to draw a Pokemon back out for your card, like, deck, just to make sure you guarantee the board state too early on. Yeah, if you are, from, not, Lure Modules not played very much, so we'll read it. Each player reveals the top three cards of their deck and puts all Pokemon the fi- they find there into their hand. <laughs> Then each player shuffles the other cards back to their deck. So, yeah. so again, it's another dual, like, big Don't. risk, big reward. Because like, your opponent's also thinning their deck out. Yeah, each, each player gets to do it. So, it's like... like yeah. and, and, and in your strategy, those Pokemon have to go to their hand. So you're thinning their deck. That's true. And that card was covered in our trivia. Yeah, that's I, why I want to reread it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah, it yeah, yeah. You only play one um, supporter. Um, yeah. The Misfortune Sisters, again... <laughs> like Camps and earlier. Which people don't know. Also. Uh, look at the top five cards of your opponent's deck and discard any number of item cards you find there. Your opponent shuffles the other cards back into their deck. Yeah, I when I, I walked by Miguel and had to pick up the card because I was like, I don't, I don't know what this yeah. card is. Yeah, uh, that's pretty spicy. That's a whole lot of that's a whole lot of mill right there. Yeah. Um, you also played three twin energies for the energy, like, for attack, but also Path of the Peak shuts down Genesis so bad and you kind of want them to go the first mm-hmm. the stadium so you can win because you play four yourself. Yeah, four tangles. Um, the bad part is there's really no energy or there's no like prize cards to pick up. So whatever's prize for the most part is gone. It's just stuck there. Yeah, because I mean, you, you don't attack. With, 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 well, you your, with your changes, no you can't. He oh, only has one. Yeah, yeah. You have one speed. Okay. Um, so Genesis being shut down by Path of the Peak you need that speed energy to draw sometimes. Just yep. get something going through. Um, but overall, it was a fun time. It's probably one of the funnest decks I've played in a while. <laughs> it looks um, cool. Yeah, no, it was on Twitter, and I, I saw it, and me started laughing. I was like, I gotta build this. I saw it and started laughing, too, and, like, w- he had not told me what the deck was, and we were talking yeah. before the event, and he was like, you're never gonna guess. I was like, I saw this spicy deck, that, and I started describing this deck, and he just starts busting up laughing, because it's like, the deck he's it. playing. That's the card, dude! <laughs> he's like, you're never gonna guess, but I did guess. <laughs> He texted us both, and I just instantly was like, do it. Yeah, because I asked him to send yeah. it to me, and he, for some reason, sent it to the group chat. Yeah. That's the closest one up. <laughs> <laughs> um, but round one, we played against Omar. Um, we lost that one, unfortunately. But he's playing the Charizard deck that he's been playing since Charizard came out. Yep. He knows that deck pretty well. But mm-hmm. 
It was a blast because he doesn't like he didn't understand the concept of this. Like, what what, what does he do? You're playing me, right? You're playing me, right? I'm like, no, I'm not playing you, but you're gonna laugh. <laughs> and when I evolved toxicity, oh, yeah. like he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm gonna flip a coin. If heads, you're gonna mill five. If tails, I wanna mill five. Heads around the bat. He's like, oh no, my energy's <laughs> got a lot of energy. Um, but he does play a lot of energy, so that really just helped him with magma basing later on in the match. Yeah. Um, but overall, he uh, was aggressively winning. I think he got enough like 15 cards. Aggressively winning, dude. This is <laughs> he's like, like oh, I'm winning. I'm gonna okay. win. How can you even tell you're winning? You don't take any prize cards. I mean, he had 15 cards up. That's yeah. three. Uh, cards that's away. three attacks, bro. That's, that's got and me. I got to ten, not got him up to 10, and then he got the magma basin. And it was just like magma basin, and unfortunately, that match, all my other gremlins were tangled or prized. All your other ones were tangled. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they were tangled up in the prize cards, dude. That's hilarious. So, okay. I just didn't have another... It was just all gas, and yeah. I just milled myself out. Nice. Um, live, but, and, live and die by the flips? <laughs> bad, die hard. Literally, live and die by the flips. Mm-hmm. The big change of the game was, early on, I played lure module, like, turn one, and he pulled his Charizard go, from the go set, mm. with double to your energy. Yeah. So he somehow got a rare candy. He's like, "Oh, cool! I can play this." Pop, pop, and that really made a big factor because all his energy required was zero loss. Yeah, and he was just taking knock after knock out. I couldn't, I couldn't stop anything. Crushing hammer was yeah. a fun time, but magma base was just like, "All right, we're just gonna yeah, move just it around." Get it back. Yeah. Um, but that was a fun match. Um, match two, I played against uh, Dina. She's playing Darkrai that night. Um, nice. Really bad start. I started Genesec and Toxel. Mm-hmm. And then I had four energies, and I think a crushing hammer. Tough. Yeah. Better hit heads on that hammer. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, she uh, she also had a rough start, but she had Moltres V, and she was just discarding the energy and just every turn, bomb energy, yep. energy. Dire flame wings, baby. <laughs> it's good, and unfortunately, hits for one ninety, which Aura is exactly. Burn. Genesis HP. So yes, she dumped on Toxel. Knocked out the Genesect and... Yep. Good game. Good game. <laughs> I pulled a camera and just watched her play. Pop yep. up. <laughs> um, then I played her husband, Nick, who was playing Arceus Giratina. Okay. Um, same brick. It just... I was, throw, I was building a brick house, dude. Nice. I couldn't do anything going. Um, I got some momentum going because he stalled off for a turn. He just couldn't find the energy to attack. So, I was able to find, like... Some pieces I gambled a little bit and by ultra mo- ultra ball and all the things to like just take things out for hand. Yeah, um, you kind of want to do with the deck, just thin your own deck out. Mm-hmm. Um, but he found a path, and then after that, it was just no more cards for you, buddy. Yeah, once you knock out the second toxel or toxicity, there was nothing I could do. Yeah, um, but shout out to Easton because he came up to me. Happens with the match, like, Miguel, you got this. You gotta win. You have to win. If anyone can win, it's you, Miguel. My number one cheeler, buddy. I appreciate you. We didn't win, though. <coughs> Darn. We also lost that one. And then finally, we played against Tara, against her Charizard deck. Okay. Um, Tara came to me, he's like, well, I'm gonna lose. I was like, no, 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 Tara's supposed to like, no, no, I haven't won a game in two weeks. I was like, well, today might be your lucky day. And yeah. it was. Nice. Um... She, just like Omar, Magma Basin is a big thing. Mm-hmm. And I prized two of my toxicities in that match. Nice. I only run three. Yeah, she you need that Peonia. Oh, card. dude, I needed to make some books. I'm playing again Sunday. Nah, that ain't worth changing any cards. Anymore. No. Just let it rip. <laughs> let it rip. Yeah, just play it like that. Um, But it's fun. I mean, yeah. she definitely outplayed me, which feels kind of bad saying since he's like seven or eight. Eleven. 11 or even yeah. a little better <laughs> but she's getting the hang of that she, deck for sure she just like she knows what she has to do every turn mm-hmm. she's playing it she's playing it really well she a little boss of genocide for easy knockout mm-hmm. yeah, that's she, my challenge she plays pretty close to your average player she, mm-hmm. she, has, she doesn't like do like the advanced mapping and stuff she's just like how can I get a knockout this turn yeah bop yeah. <laughs> roll the drill boss yeah. yep boss and yeah she got it now, if she I, just learns a Jeff Tingley trick and just announces what he needs yeah. and draws it, yeah, then I tried. she'll be set. I tried. It didn't work. <laughs> but ultimately, I tried aggressively milling her out, and 
I just have been tail after tail after tail. Just milk myself out. All right, time to milk five. Nope, I'll do mine. <laughs> I'll, I'll take this one for you. Yeah. <laughs> no one beats me. I beat myself. Yeah. But ultimately, we won 0 and 4, but it was a fun time. I haven't played Pokemon about two weeks now. It's yeah. been a while. Mr. Sick Boy is finally back. Yeah. You're next, Jeff. Nope, not me. Can't be me. Uh, I'm oh. fine. I'll probably get sick today working in the snow. Ouch. Speaking of snow, it's snowing outside and it sucks. I hate it. It's I 30, love it. 31 degrees. Boo. Boo. Alright, speaking about how much I love slash don't love Lost Box. <laughs> I played it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I played against Tracy first round and I said, hey, what deck do you want to play against? And I told him all the decks ahead, and he said, let's do Lost Box, me too. I'm like, all right, you asked for it. Uh, I've, went o- I've went over it a couple times. There's nothing, like, super special about it. Uh, except it's yours. That's a special thing. Except it's mine. I did. I crafted all of this. Um, the only thing I changed from the last time I played, I dropped the VIP pass to put in a cape. Because I think if you can get a cape on your Cramorant, especially against other Lost Zone decks, it's just busted. Um, and then I dropped... You need to hold on to your cards better, dude. Huh? You need to hold on to your cards better. (laughs) I keep dropping them. Uh, (laughs) I dropped a... I think a third switch to play the second Ordinary Rod. And it still feels pretty good. Uh, almost every... Almost every time I get to do Cram, and I usually don't whiff. So it just does Lost Box. Just don't miss. Lost Box... Lost Box stuff like normal. I still hate it. You hate it. Hate, I hate the lost box. box in general. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It can be really fun, and then you're just like, I don't want to be sitting here anymore. I just want to get up and go. <laughs> I don't want to be anything <laughs> other than what, what I've been, been trying to be lately. <laughs> we have three verses there. I know you noticed that. Uh, That's fine. That's why we're starting an acapella group next right. week. Yeah, if you guys don't subscribe, like, and comment in the comments down below, we're quitting this. Actually, Daly put in a comment. She said, you guys should sing next time. So, somebody throws a song rap, down. Rap battle? We'll just sing at the beginning. Rap. rap. <laughs> this song goes on to you. Everybody knows my rap, and I can't say it. I can't say it live. <laughs> so, you're trying to play footsie with me now. Started with Jeff, now you're going to me. Put your shoes on. All right, round one, I played against Tracy. And like I said, he chose my deck. And he should have thought about it a little bit more <laughs> because he was playing uh, Dugong, Swim Freely. So, so you do gong him, <laughs> baby stuff. <laughs> He's got all small HP things. Uh, I have a reading Greninja to do sniping, all that kind of stuff. So, um, he chose my yeah, he chose my deck for me. Um, he chose to go first. He didn't have a very good start at all. I was able to get four in the lost zone right away, so I could spit on him, and then uh, took out his first seal. Seal goes to Dugong, I think. Yeah. Celio. Seal. Celio. Celio's name. The artist. Mm. <laughs> Celio. Um, so, yeah. Knocked out his first one. Um, but it's not too bad for him to get back into it. He can put up uh, Finian, and it has the. Doesn't have an agility thing on it where you can try to dodge damage. Swim freely. Yeah, it has swim freely. So, <laughs> <laughs> I always think the attack is swim freely. And I can't remember. What's the actual attack called with the energies? I don't have Swim. a clue. Really? No. <laughs> That's what I thought it was. But anyways. It's like something like um, an aura beam or something like that. Or uh, something. something. I don't know. Anyways, I was able to set up Greninja, take a double knockout, and then from there, he couldn't catch up. I got uh, Mewtwo in play and just was spreading damage. And he was mm-hmm. he didn't put down his Finian, so I couldn't like spread knockout enough things to win. I could only get two of the things on his board and it would have left him a dugong and if he would have top decked like something to get him energies like a Nessa or something he had a couple energies in his hand and the fin in his hand and he needed like an, an accelerator to maybe take a big knockout on him yeah. um, but he top decked couldn't get there so he scooped it up I don't um, like Tracy yeah. <laughs> round two played Mike um, it was pretty back and forth um until we got halfway through the game, and he kind of ran away with it. He was able just to hit the Mirage Gates and stuff when he needed it. He was playing Giratina, so it's pretty strong. 280's really good, and then a free knockout's really good. Um, 
Let's see. What was my note here? Oh, I got to go second, but I was not able to cram. I had... Oh, I got four in the last zone, but I had no way to switch. So I was stuck with... I don't even remember what was in the active. I think I had my Snorlax stuck in the active. I couldn't switch him. So I couldn't hit for the first 110, which is really helpful if you can do that. So I kind of got um, laid off the bat from there. So also he tried to uh, tried to V-star my Snorlax. And I said, unfaced fat, buddy. But we took it back and resolved all that. Um, you got to remember the abilities. R-T-F-C. What's that again? Unfaced fat prevents all effects of your opponent's attacks except for damage. Oh, gotcha. It's like Parasol. Gotcha, gotcha. And so, like, the fun thing about playing that, at least against Giratina, is I have a Snorlax and I have the Mew, because he can't do it to Mewtwo either. Yeah. Because of his <clears throat> ability. Um, gotcha. So, yeah, after he did that, after we took that back, he played an escape rope, and it kind of put me in a really awkward spot, and then he took a knockout from there, and then I couldn't catch back up. Oh. I was able to get Mewtwo in play, and I had energies on it, and I, I spread knock something out, but... Um, he's hitting 280. It just it hits a lot of damage. Yeah. So he ran away with it after that. Um, oh. Round three, played Matt. He was on Zorark. My boy. First time. I was like, so how many games have you played so far? He's like, I probably played like maybe seven games. And <laughs> just three of them. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and so we're on round three. Um, I was kind of watching a little closer like I do with newer players. I was able to correct a few things. A few rules that he didn't know, so that's always helpful. It's always a good thing to do. And he was like, oh, I didn't know you could do that. Um, Like, I was able to... He was watching my board as well, so I played Greninja, and I threw an energy away um, to draw two cards, and I played a scoop up net and then put it back down. And I was, like, explaining things as I did it, and, like, since it came off my board and I put it back down, I my abilities live again. And he was like, cool, I didn't know you could do stuff like that and whatever. So it was a, it was a more of a... It was more of a learning game, I think. Mm-hmm. Um... But it was close. Like him seeing more cards. It was very close. Um, we got down to... Time and round. We got down to time and round. It was a long game. Probably one of the longest games I've ever played. And I thought for sure the timer had gone off already. Until yeah. Mike goes, hey, has time been called? And then your phone went off like right when he asked you, which is pretty funny. Because <laughs> yeah, it was funny because Josh and I were standing there. And he goes, man, I feel like time should be called. And I was like, it'll be called very soon. Because yeah. my timer said three seconds left. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it'll be called very soon, and as Mike was asking, it yep. off. Um, he beat me fair and square. Uh, we went to the ultimate time, is what I wrote down there, because we extend that thing all the way. Um, Dude, your your turn zero in time and round was like six minutes long. Yeah. I did everything I could to set my deck up to try to, get, <laughs> to, try to rip the best card off the top. Um, we went back and forth. I think I took the first... I took the first two prizes on the Zora arc, and then he took... <laughs> couple of my small ones. He got my crams. He got a cone fee. I finally ended up having to give him Greninja. So we were down to... He had two prize cards left, and so did I. And um, got the I had the Mewtwo in play. And he had an Orangaroo on his board with damage on it because mm-hmm. of Gabe Job Bog. And then he had a Dunsparce on his bench with mm-hmm. damage on it with Gabe Job Bog. So Dunsparce has 60, but it really had 40 on it. And then the Orangaroo is 120, but really had 100. So that's only 14 damage counters. So I'm like, okay, if I get... If I get another Psychic Energy, I spread kill those both. You then, also could have just one-hit his Zora Arc, because 300 is a lot. Or that, yeah. Or the final burn. Uh, but that would have required Mirage Gate plus a second energy. So I was really just looking for one energy. Um, so it came down to the last turn. I played everything I could, thinned my deck down as much as I could. Even tried to, I boss stalled him on the turn prior, um, and he was able to find a switch knocked me out and I was on turn two I had to put I just put Mewtwo up there because I'm like if I rip Raihan off the top I win just drew my card not there uh-huh. so um so yeah I just you know he swung back in and knocked me out so that was a great game one that was one of the more fun ones I've played in a while where um I actually like well it's kind of sounds mean to say I actually had to pay attention the whole time <laughs> while I was playing like I really oh, didn't no. know I really didn't know if I was if I could make it there like normally you know if you're gonna win or not right or you know if you're gonna lose and like you need to make one play to maybe get back in it the whole time during that I was like man I think I can win this one and like it just kept going back for I was like no he's gonna beat me now I was like I drew this card oh, I could probably win now and like so the yeah. whole time I was really like having to pay attention that's what they tell so like you know your deck well enough like you know your board state to like or your discard like all right cool I know yeah. what my prizes are the chance of me winning from this point on is yeah. kind of low. Speak Cheap. for yourself. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> uh, I play bad decks, dude. I, I know exactly what I need. <laughs> so, yeah, Matt got me on that one, so it was a good game. So now I'm one and 
one and two. So going into round four, I played against Megan. She was playing Lost Zone uh, Dialga again. She, and she, that one came down to the wire, too. She brought it up as, at breakfast, too. She was like, yeah. it was so funny when I saw her across from Jeff, because he's like, yeah, I have this, po- this podcast thing that I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she brought it up this morning. I was like, do you mind if I talk about her match? It's pretty like, funny. Oh, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm pretty sure I've been name-dropped about three times. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I made sure I asked. I don't, think I, have, I don't think I've had a chance to ask her, so I just did for fun. Um, yeah, she was on Lost Zone Dialga, and she did all the stuff. She popped off on her turn and was able to cram me first. She got a Dialga set up on turn. <laughs> she got a Dialga set up on turn three. Yeah. Um, so she was able to go boom, V-Star, and then bossed my Greninja, I think. So she took out... She took out... I think it was just a cram, and then she bossed my Greninja. So I'm like, that's great. There goes my, my engine. I'm like, hmm, this one's going to be a struggle. And that one came down to the wire, too. Um, I got Mewtwo in play. I just needed to be able to start swinging big. Uh, I was down to two prize cards, two prize cards. She was Her deck was real thin. She was digging for Thornton, um, but it was in her prizes. And if she could have if she could have gotten Thornton, she probably would have got me. She ended up having to play Escape Rope, and I just fed her something small. She got a knockout, and then I could put the Mewtwo up there and take the take a knockout, and then there was no way she was going to return that I took the second knockout. So it was down to two and two prize cards, and then she took one, so it was one and two. Then we went to one and one, so she, if she'd had a, you know, she couldn't Thornton and Boss in the same turn, because yeah. I think she found the Thornton off the one thing I fed her, yeah. but then she wasn't able to Boss my, what was weak. <laughs> Fix your mic, boy. This doesn't happen to me all the time, I promise. <laughs> um, so yeah, it didn't map up. She almost had me though. It was a really good game. That was one of the better games I've played in a while too. Like I, like going back back from Matt to that one where I was just having to be like really think about every play that I did because um, that Dialga deck could just pop off and you're like before you know it you've lost. Like if she takes a a really good knockout and then is able to boss and then do it again, it's just like pretty devastating and then Greninja as well she plays that in there so she can get double knockouts with that so um, yeah it was fun super fun match yeah definitely a fun week or Thursday I mean yep. a lot of weird wonky decks were played because everybody wants to play Silver Tempest everybody's yeah. like I'm gonna play the weirdest deck I can tonight while yeah. you still can yeah while you still can <laughs> now everybody's gonna be on to the Tempest uh, woot, play woot. the whole this is what I'm trash. playing Olugia. Cap. Cap. It is cap. Overrated. Overhyped. <laughs> I think it's bad. Uh, I'll, uh, you shouldn't play it. You should email your Lugias, guys. I'll, I'll, I'll teach Please. you. But I'll have to charge. <laughs> Alright. Primal will... Turban. <clears throat> I was watching YouTube last night, actually. What? You watch YouTube? What? Yep. And this one, this one's for Calvin. So I'm going to go over this deck here. Calvin's been all about Waylord as soon as he read the card. So last night I was watching Tricky Jim and he was playing Waylord. So there was a few cards. <laughs> the boy, the big boy. Um, the only differences I really have seen between what he played and what Calvin's been playing is the Pot Helmet. So Pot Helmet gives you, if this Pokemon, if the card, if the Pokemon card, this card is attached to you, doesn't have a rule box, it takes 30 less damage from attacks from your opponent's Pokemon. So that is all of them. So not just it doesn't just reduce V's and GX's or whatever. Um, it reduces 30 damage from everything. So you have the Whale Lord that has this Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attack. So you got the 30 there. And then the attack is Special Wave. takes three waters and a colorless. So it's 120. And if this Pokemon has any special energy attached to it, it does 120 more. 240. So, sounds like the old Macrosma. 240s, yeah, sounds like that. So then you play the V Guard is the only special one you play. You play some captures too to I get think you he going. He plays the Wash, doesn't he? Um, not in this list. No, um, I, I think Calvin plays a Wash. Oh yeah, Calvin might play a Wash. So, but the goal is to get the V Guard on there, right? So that reduces 30s from Vs. So you can have your reduced 30 from V. You can have your reduced 30 from everything, and then you already have Jumbo sized, which I love the name of that ability. Jumbo size. So every time you should be taking 90 less damage. Sure. And then you're just going to be playing Frozmoth to suit it up. Um, the Barrel to draw cards and Greninja to draw cards. Um, also to attack also you can too. attack with. Yeah. So Johnny um, Appleseed on the Whale Lord. Let's go. <laughs> so I think it's pretty spicy. There you go, Calvin. Uh, it's, it's a big boy. 
they got to hit you for 290 to knock you out, which is, like, not that. For one prize? That's yeah. For one prize. Giratina has a hard time hitting it. Yeah, so it's not easy to do. And so it was funny because I, I was watching him play, mm-hmm. and he played <laughs> against a Blissey player. Okay. And so the whole goal of Blissey is attach energy, and then you accelerate from your discard pile. But the wording on Blissey's attack is you have to do damage. If this attack does damage, you can accelerate three energies from the discard pile oh, no. to your Blissey. So <laughs> he already had he already had minus ninety. So even the Blissey with the powerful is only like sixty damage. So it's doing zero. <laughs> so the, his opponent was playing Blissey and just hitting for zero and not being able to accelerate energies, and he was just hitting 240, 240, 240. <laughs> So that was pretty funny. And then. He played Mew, um, Double Turbo Mew after that, which yeah. I was like, okay, this one might be a little trickier for him. But if you have it set up, Willard's got 290 HP. That's four power tablets. Because you're hitting... <laughs> to get one prize card. Yeah, yeah, to get one prize card. Like, you have to use so many resources. So I think that, like, Willard's a thick boy. I mean, I think Calvin was onto something when he started playing it. He instantly built it, and I'm like, okay, that's... Pretty hard to Dude, deal with. His first rough draft when he showed it to me, I was at my computer. This man yeah. was on like only four supporters, and I think it was all just Canvas. Yeah. And I'm like, Canvas what? <laughs> oh! <laughs> and I'm like, bro, where's your supporters at? <laughs> he goes, oh, I don't have space. I'm like, you don't have space for supporters? <laughs> nice. Uh, he's refined it a lot. Oh, since yeah, then. yeah. He's, um, been, he's been brewing it. Yeah, like it, the way he feet. yeah the way he has it works. Um, I think the pot helmet is pretty good because it's thirty always. So mm-hmm. Calvin plays the Lake Acuity, where yeah. he plays pot helmet, which is probably better. Yeah, I think pot helmet is better, but you could play both. Um, but training training court seems better. Um, will be twenty less, so you could be you could reduce one ten every turn. But yeah, um, if you played Lake Acuity and pot helmet, that'd be kind of nasty. Lake but Acuity training court is super yeah. important, so. I don't so think can I can ask play why it. there's no Irida in this mat, or deck? Um, well, let's see over here. You're just playing Serena, discard draw. You got Nessa to play from your discard pile. You got, and you got research. So it looks like you're just doing research and going for because it. Because with um, Frozmoth, you want to draw a lot of cards. After you use your Capacious Bucket, you just need card draw to That's get the to energies mm-hmm. in your hand. Whereas Irida only can grab you Bucket three times. Yeah. And you need quarter energy each time, so like, yep. I think uh, energy retrieval would be hot in that. Yeah, I think that's why he's on the training course. But yeah, retrieval would definitely like would definitely do well because you could just put them both right back into play. So, Go for it. but yeah, single prize, a single prize thing hitting for two forty every turn sounds pretty good. Yeah, I'd play that. Kinda, kinda well, nice. Stage one too. Yeah, like you, and you're most likely gonna survive a hit. Mm-hmm. Like that's a lot to hit two ninety. So, anyways, there you go, Calvin. Anybody else who's interested, I'll put the, I'll put the links down low. Also, check the description because I've been updating a bunch of decks on Pokemon.io. So everything we've played is going up on there. The link will be in the description. Also, if you find a deck that you want to talk about or for us to talk about a review, put in the comments down below. Like, that's really yeah. I mean. I show it. us your yeah. deck. Or even a card like Whale Lord. If you think a card is really cool, throw it in the comments and like ask us, you know, we can talk about how you would like build that card. Like how how what's the best way to use that card. Maybe not the best way. Or the fourteenth well, best place. It'll but... be the fourteenth best way to use the card. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be playable. There'll be a deck. It'll be playable. It'll be sixty uh, cards in the end. Speaking of so, oh. this now. Yeah. Who's that? that? Oh, Pokemon. There you go. My bad. It's always hey, bad. for the people that stuck around, here you go. It's your time to win a pack. First one to put the correct answer in the comments will get a. I'm going to give you Lost Origin this time. Because if you're still here and you get it right, you deserve it. <laughs> All right, ready? Aggressive and cruel. This Pokemon will ruthlessly torment enemies that are helpless in the dark. It is 4 foot 11 and 187.4 pounds. What is it, Chupacabra? <laughs> Bro, this thing's, a, this thing's a menace to society. That was a... Pretty cool description. I know. I read it because he, he... That was dope. He, he was like, why not that one? And I read it. I'm like, yep, this has to be it. That's that's dope. I was joking because it was on the dust, but like, that's terrifying. <laughs> it just kind of sounds terrifying. Is, All it, right. is it time for my spice now? Yes. All right. First one to put it down there. I hope you're here. I'll give you a Lost Origin pack and you get the card signed by the 14th best people. All right. Now to Cameron Spice. So, uh, a leak dropped... 
this week. I don't remember what day. And I saw this card, uh, Radiant Eternatus. It is a dragon type with 170 HP. It's a basic. Two tree. It's got an ability. The ability is called Climax Gate. And the attack is Power Beam for 200. Okay. Um, the ability reads, when, when you put this Pokemon into play from, from your hand on your bench, you can search your deck for two VMAXs and put them onto your bench. This ends your turn. What? You just search your deck for two V Maxes and put them on your bench, dude. That's wild, bro. It's gonna be so fun and Lugia because oh, you get to... dude. as soon as you put it down, you grab them. Yeah, and your turn you, ends. Yeah, you put them down and your turn ends. V Max? It, yeah, V Maxes. It has to be V Max. That's wild. So I'm Duraldon? excited because huh? Duraldon, yeah. Yeah. You could play Duraldon, but what I'm excited about, Greedent V Max. <laughs> yeah, dude. Greed and VMAX. Turn a profit, bro. Start turning profits. Uh, like that? Because you can accelerate <laughs> four powerfuls. Or we won't have them by then. Yeah. 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 Probably not. It, it might, it, you might have it for a little bit. How, would you buff, how do you buff the damage? How do you get above 60? Because turn a profit 60, right? If it knocks out a... Yeah. No, it's uh, only 30. Let's look it yeah. up. Let's look it up. But I'm, I'm pretty excited because then you get to play a turn of this also. That well, Tornadus, works. Tornadus VMAX. Yeah, Tornadus is really good, I think. Because you get to play that in Lugia. Like, it's, it just, it opens up even more. Like, Lugia's doors were already wide open. It's just busting yeah. Turn even Profit more. is 30. If your opponent's basic Pokemon is knocked out by damage from this attack, take two more prize cards. Leon? No. Well, I mean, even just if you... Two Powerfuls you, is 70. Yeah, but even if you swing in with, like, a Lugia, and then you come and clean it up with that. They just ha- it just has to be a if, basic Pokemon. It, yeah, That's if I go part. if I go first Comfy and pop part. down that Eternatus, you're yeah. you're you're playing yeah. Lost Box. Your Comfy's inactive, dude. Yeah, like, that's true. Or I, I escape I escape rope or boss or that's that's three prizes on a Comfy. Yeah, like that's game ending. Yep, hurts pretty bad. I'm I'm I was kind of surprised when the the card fell off so fast because like during the Sobble time like that was the time to shine. But I don't think it had it. It didn't have enough juice on it. The the green, right? Because mm-hmm. that was before you had you, the you had to you had to play those gloves. Stuff, had to play the gloves. You had to play the gloves to buff the damage, and you had to hope that you drew the right glove. I mean, the whole time we had if the glove so fits. Where? Um, <laughs> and then okay, another another card that I'm. Yeah, what other VMAX? Would, are you talking about other VMAXs that you would try? No, this this is currently that I'm about to try. What are, what other VMAXs would you use for Tornadus, so. Greedent. Okay. Um, I was just trying to think. You about also that have um, Flying Pikachu that you can just squeeze out there. But so yeah, you don't have to yeah, play the, ba- the base. Um, That's true. Because then you get your free retreater. And then you gotta you get knockouts on Palkias and stuff. Um, also, like Demir Match, Electric Energy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It stops um, basics from hitting you. Yeah, Pikachu's pretty important. So that's well, cool. One of the ones really cool. I Very mean, cool. if you're already playing, if you're already playing your um, single strike energy for Tornadus, you can also put in Gengar V Max. Yeah, I really like the Gengar. So V-Max. you can just play the single strike box kind of style. Yeah. Um. So there, dude, it just opens it up. How wild is that to have a? You can use Lugia and get just two color, two free colorless Pokemon, and then use the Tornadus and then get two V Maxes. I mean, that fills your whole bench, but. I mean, turn one, quick ball for the turn, is just get your board stick ready to go. That's yeah. wild. Yeah. And then from there, it's not as like, well, you still need to get to Archeops, though, to be able to, like, play. But still, yeah, I mean, it, it just gets your attackers. Yeah, it's, um, that sounds crazy. And then the spice that I've got, well, I saw on Twitter, and I was like, man, this sounds really good. So I think this week I'm going to test it in my Lugia build. The card is Stoutland V. Let's go. For card? three color, read for it. three <laughs> colorless, no. <laughs> it's double dip fangs. Double dip Forty fangs. damage. If your opponent's basic Pokemon is knocked out by, by damage from this attack, you take one more prize. There you go. So it's forty base plus a double or a, a powerful. Yeah, is sixty. So it can knock out your Sobble if mm-hmm. they're not playing the seventy HP. And if you put another du- another powerful, then that takes eighty. So that's your comfies. And that's your stabilize. Your stabilize. That's your like. You're you're probably chilling there. Yeah, but also, it's 210 HP. It's a colorless, so you can yep. be Sharon's carried if it's not knocked out. Right. And for four colorless energy, it's wild tackle. 
two hundred and it does thirty to itself. So it can it can attack big too. Okay. So nice. it, it can take prizes on two prizes or just take two prizes off of one prize. Like, yeah. It sounds sounds pretty spicy. I'm definitely gonna try it out. Mm. Let's get or it. with how how I have it set up now, Blissey. Yeah. Thornton into the Stoutland, boss a Sobble for game, take those last two prizes. Or, yeah, or, or, or take three prizes even, because if I just accelerate a bunch of powerful to Blissey, yeah. I can just boost the numbers hmm. of Stoutland. It's true. I like it. So, I'm kind of excited to try it out. <clears throat> um, yeah. That's 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 the spice. I think it's spicy. I like the spice. Um, I think cool. that's pretty much all the spice. I've also thought about um, Amazing Rare Kyogre. Yep. Just to do 80 across the board, because I don't like Lost Box. Mm-hmm. Um, I just want to counter it. <laughs> Speaking of amazing rare, Kyogre. It got banned in TLC. It is banned. It got the hammer. If anybody out there plays the GLC, if you're familiar yeah, with it off, this please. card, it has <laughs> the attack Amazing Surge. This attack does 80 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Don't apply weakness and resistance for bench Pokemon. <laughs> You sounded like a insur- in, uh, like an insurance commercial. <laughs> yeah, like you had to read this fine print <laughs> really fast. Yeah. Please call no, your doctor. No refunds available. <laughs> <laughs> so, that card. And why did they ban it? Because people are seeing that it's way too aggressive in GLC format. Because you have some recovery. Way more than you do in like most standard decks. But you can um, only play one of those recovery yeah. cards. So you, yeah. And the cool thing about GLC, it's like it's a lot more support than it's attacking. Like you, your board state really defines what you're gonna do. So yep. if you're just knocking out the board state, you can't really recover. You're gonna yeah. lose. Uh, yeah, and if they're yeah, if they're got a bunch of stage basics and stage ones, like even there, it knocks out some usable stage, stage one. ones, but it'll get a lot of those basics. But also, if you can chip damage so much on the board today. Yeah, they, the yeah. Because yeah, if they can't answer it, then it's just yeah. 80 again. Oh, yeah, that's and true. If they water. can't return 120, then they just, yeah. That's water, yeah. So, I mean, Greninja. Yeah. That's why I didn't play that build, because I thought it was too cheesy. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. I get it. I don't play the format. I, I like the format. I, w- I would like to play more, but we just don't have the following here. Yeah. It's true. I got two GLC decks. I got one. I got one too. Don't play against McGill. It's not fun. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, dude. You don't play. <laughs> Pure skill. Mill. Skill mill. Mill. Mill skill. Mill. Mill skill? Mill skill. We love mills. Whoa. <laughs> no. Whoa. Speak for yourself. All right. <laughs> um. He, speak, he speaks for the trees. And they speak Spanish. Oh. Okay. Donde Shoot. Esa, donde esa de... <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> okay. Um, we're at a, an hour and 35 minutes. What? But, like, 10 minutes of that was me pooping. Yeah, that true. was. I think. What are you most looking forward to in Silver Tempest? Because you weren't here last. Oh, pod. yeah. The electric... Reggie. I cannot say that. Reggie Lecky. Reggie Lecky. Bro, I got you covered, homie. My boxes were only that. (laughs) Okay. So you're on the Vicavolt? Like, no no items? Reggie Lecky chain? I think so. Okay. It's... Better play them Christian Hammer. (laughs) That's the reason why I don't play it? No. Before I started... When I first started playing Pokemon back in, like, 15, 16, Mm -hmm. I was very much a controlly mill deck. That's all my favorite format. Yeah. It's like, you can't play because I say you can't. Yeah, <laughs> you can't play why? Because I said so. Because <laughs> you don't have energy. Go go go. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> this format this is coming up, I think, allows more of that. Um, not so much. Yeah. Control like Mild does, where like check me, where like I'm gonna win, turn six because I'm gonna give up prizes. Yeah, because like set all this up. Yeah. Yeah, there's also more. the The decks are getting a little slower. I mm-hmm. guess some of them are. This, Some form, of them are. this format is if you go first, you usually win. Like, well, right now, dude. Yeah. Right now, it's crazy. Once we, once we lose some cards, but I guess. Yeah. When when was Vicavolt? What's Vicavolt's set? Rebel? Because I think it rotates. Because then you can't even really play it when the. Vicavolt to be. Vicavolt to be. 
Because then you can't I think it's rubble or darkness. benefit off of it then anyways. So, darkness and blaze. Okay. So right now you can play it, but... Just for a bit. I mean... It may not last a super forward. long time. The bonus 30 damage is great. Because um, now you can knock out comb fees and stuff like that. Because you couldn't even do it before. No. Just 50 damage. It's kind of depressing. Yeah. So it didn't, it didn't stop you from doing the lost zone. <laughs> but it stops you from playing the items. Yeah. Um, but if you can get a knockout... And stop them from playing items, then you can scoop catch up, up a little net. bit. Stop them from keep going. True. Turn off the scoop up nets. But at least they can't like dig super far in their deck. Yeah. Continuously getting knockouts. They can't so, ball. Yeah. Those are probably the three big hitters, right? Vickavolt, Lugia, and... I'm going to put a right there. Yep. Just for... I saw... I want to see a superior deck. Yes, sure. so do I. That's the only other I deck figured I figured you were going to gonna try to build it. Um, I have no pieces yet, but we're going to see if I get some. Depending on Megan, I have pieces for you. Okay. Because I think she's she might be wanting to get them for Miranda to get her to start playing again. Because that's her oh, favorite that's Pokemon. Oh, that's right, yeah, because we got her, or Calvin gave her one at the pre-release too. That's her favorite Pokemon, so if she yeah. wants to do that for for Miranda, then yeah. I'll, I'll just give her, give them to her. But. I think that's the only other deck I'm interested in trying to build, is that. I, I figured so. I've always been all about the all I, about the grass. I really like the idea of Altaria with Superior. Mm-hmm. Cause, and you play the Krikotun, so it's really hard to one-shot. Mm-hmm. And then you just go, hey, you remember that damage you put on me? Here's it back. You can have it back. Yeah. Super cool. I think there's a lot of good combos coming up. We're going to see what people get creative with. Obviously, the big things are being talked about but now it's where the set's legal it just dropped yesterday so every, your standard players are going to be kind of brewing some stuff up and coming out of the woodwork yeah. with unfortunately some i don't have my lugias i got you i'm got so you i'm so mad that i pulled zero lugia v's out of four boxes i'll get you today bud four f- actually five because megan opened one too five boxes zero almost zero a v's case? almost a case how'd you get five boxes zero v's how'd you get five boxes uh, two were gifted to me, nice. and then I bought two. Oh, birthday boy. Cool. Well, I'm going to open up part of my case later tonight, and then we'll see what happens from there. I'm cool. just upset. Like, zero V. I got two <laughs> V stars. Well, that's good. That's the more expensive, that's expensive one. one. That's the more expensive one. It's like 30 bucks a piece right now. Four I'm piece. just annoyed that it was zero Vs. Yeah, that's true. We got prices but don't, for now. Don't worry. <laughs> them Reggie Luckies, I got five of them. That's, That's cool. five Reggie Lucky oh, Vs. Nice. Oh. Did you get any dragos? I got a one full art, one V, no V stars. I want your full art. I know you do. I have it set aside. That's nice looking. Dude, That's like bizarre. all of my box was just trainer gallery, trainer gallery, trainer gallery. Like Megan's almost got the whole trainer gallery already complete now. Heck yeah. I love that. Love that. But my her. boxes were just for her. My birthday boxes were for her. <laughs> and I'm like, no. Oh. <laughs> Is the shop going to do any tournaments here soon? Uh, we have one coming up December. Oh, yeah, case tournament, right? Yeah. We love those. So. Oh, Silver Tempest case um, tournament. I'm going to attempt to have Michael judge it so I can play. Heck yeah. December 10th, I believe, is the date we chose. December 10th. All right, so a couple of weeks from now, guys. Make sure you're heading out. Play Tustin, getting the cards you need. Yeah. But you won't beat me. <laughs> yeah. I'll be in the <laughs> okay. He might beat me in cardboard. I'll be in the and, parking lot. Me and Alec have a month to perfect Reggie Drago to see if we have a chance. Because yeah. I don't think I'm coming off of that. If if I can get something crazy with uh, Superior, maybe. Yeah. Maybe I'll play I was going to say, everybody knows what I'm playing. But I'm on the Drago right now. Everybody knows what I'm playing. Yeah. Alex, oh. Alex got oh, his yeah. list pretty good. So I'm, I'm playing <laughs> off of Alex's list now. And then uh, I'm going to modify it from there. So... Jeff didn't two, hear two that. Two brains That's what's funny. Jeff didn't hear that. I heard something about Palkia. Yeah, I don't know. I said everybody knows what I'm playing and then has the Palkia. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Because everybody's going to expect me to play Luke. It's true. Ooh. And then I'll play it instead. Then you can hawk a Luke. <laughs> Gross. Alright. Is that it, everybody? I'm good. No more special notes. Shout outs. I want to thank your mom. Uh, Thanks for giving birth to me, mom. Mom, I'm sorry. That was a big baby. <laughs> <laughs> what's uh, what's today's sponsor? Not that, because that was garbage. This was pretty bad. Oh, you didn't like it? It tastes like water. Today's and sponsor, not Starbucks. Not Starbucks. Actually, AA, you can do that? Sure. Oh, shout him out. Shout out AA. Nope, it's a cool jersey shirt with my awesome name in the back. 
Can I read it this way? Yeah. Pull me back. Mr. Hispanic Kid. Love it. Also, I forgot. <clears throat> you saying that reminds me. My wife has a friend who is really good friends with the owner of Legions. I don't know his. I always forget his name. And I've never asked him. His name's Johnson. Mm-hmm. His first name is Johnson. I'm pretty really pretty sure. Interesting. Anyways, my wife has a friend that's really good friends with Johnson, okay. <laughs> who owns Legions, and he told us to shout out the store. So oh, yeah. shout out to Legions store. It's the new store on Veteran Memorial. Veterans Memorial. It is where the old Snap Fitness used to be. So it's in the it's in the whole strip there next to and Wings, etc. and all that stuff. You can also grab some hot box breadsticks because those things are fire. That's true. That's <laughs> right. It's right there. And also to the to our roots, check out Tier One Games. Everybody oh, knows where it's at. Everybody Market knows Square. That's Tier One, one Games. games. <laughs> Rip it. All right. All right. Anything?